there are four steps to find the keyword. My first step is to identify the keyword topic. And for that, you can select your own topic or you can go to the Google Trends and find out the latest popular trends and the topics. So let us go to the Google Trends. In the dashboard, you can see these are all the latest stories and the insights and the popular topics. So Diwali and the Halloween are the most popular now. Diwali is now almost over and Halloween is tomorrow because today is 30th October. Here you can see the graph is going little down, which is uh, not a good indicator. And we need something which is going in the upward direction for at least a couple of months. So let us select the different topic which is uh, which will be popular in the next couple of months so let us say thanksgiving here or we can also say thanksgiving foods because a lot of people like to eat on the thanksgiving and you can see all the related queries and their breakout and uh, how much percentage they are going in the upward trend so just let us select the one topic thanksgiving 2019 although our search term was the thanksgiving food we decided to just select the thanksgiving 2019 because it was the popular and here also you will see the interest is going down but after some time it will build up and if you again go to the left there are related topics and let's choose the thanksgiving dinner and thanksgiving dinner is still kind of a building up let us select the another topic let's say thanksgiving gifts and you can see this looks a little good than the thanksgiving food and i think this is a good topic to go about The next step is to identify the targeted keyword based on the topic which we have selected that is thanksgiving gifts now there are two ways now second step is to identify the targeted keyword based on the topics which we have selected that is thanksgiving gifts and there are two ways with which we can identify the targeted keyword one way is just select the keyword and search it in the google and it will give us the list of the ideas when we click on the search button and the second way is we can go to the google ads and select the keyword planner tools from the tools and setting and then click on the discover new keywords and then type the keyword over here and get the search results now important thing over here is we should select all locations and not the specific locations otherwise we will not get the global traffic statistics after we have fetched the data it has given us the list of the options for the keywords and we can see the average monthly searches and the competition high now this is the problem we have to get the competition which is low and not the high so that we don't waste time and efforts to compete the high keywords and we can do this by adding the filters that is competition low and then it will again drill down the searches and it will give us more ideas but with the less amount of the monthly searches so here you can see the thanksgiving gifts has multiple keyword ideas like traditional thanksgiving gifts thanksgiving gift basket 2018 but they have a very low average monthly searches and the although competition is low we need to have a competition which has at least minimum 500 monthly searches so what we do over here is we will change the theme little bit and instead of the thanksgiving we can say christmas gifts and we can again check the traffic now we have a good traffic for the christmas gifts and let's say if we decided to choose one of these keyword 
uh, Christmas gift for the 2018 kid, which is really good keyword, and it has an average monthly searches as 1600, and the competition as low. But we need to verify if the Christmas really have the trend. So we go back to the step one and we search the Christmas gifts to just get the analysis whether our search term is has some trend in the future or not. And this is similar to the Thanksgiving gift. So it's better to pick up this keyword idea that is Christmas gift 2018 kid. Now there is a little problem over here. Although the there is an average monthly searches and the competition is low, there is no top of the page bid value in the low and the high range. But again, this is something which is just a prediction and not to 100% rely on because I have seen many keywords where there was no top of the page bid, but still there were a lot of incomes from those keywords. So do not rely on this prediction all the time and just take the approximate guess. But if you still don't want to rely on this top of the page bid, then you can choose the alternate keyword. Like if you go and select this one as a stock suffers, stuffers for the teen boys. And if you see, this is against the synonym of the gift. So stocking stuffers is nothing but just the variable for the teen boys. And you can take this keyword instead of the Christmas gift for the 2018. Now, next step is to check the keyword statistics from the keyword planner tool. And we can do this by selecting the keyword and then click on the add keywords. After that, it will show us the view forecast. And here it will tell us how much an advertiser is willing to pay for this particular keyword. Again, this is just the predictions and we don't need to 100% rely on these estimates. The final step is to check the competition in the Google for the same keyword. And we can do this by searching this keyword in the Google and get the results. As you can see, this is the first website that comes in the top pages. Select that website and then just leave the keyword phrase as, as it is and then type site, then name of the site, and then the key phrase in the double quotes and then searches. This will show how many pages this site has targeted for this particular keyword. And if you see, this is only one page. And if you count the total number of these search results, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This site has targeted nine pages. And if you make more pages for this particular keyword on your website, then you can easily target this keyword if you see there are too many pages that are indexed for a particular keyword, then you can just go back to the step one and start redoing the trends, getting the trends and then getting the targeted keyword or else you have another choice. You can just select another keywords from the keyword ideas and then get the forecast and then do the competition analysis. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much.